morning everyone. It is a Friday, how we diddling? Uh, currently 7.40 on my way down to the shop. We've got a Mr. 2 in this morning, a Mark 2 MR2. It's all right, you don't need to look when you're just pulling out in front of people, it's okay. Yes, there was a car there, stupid. Congratulations, you're an idiot. Christ on a bike. Um, yeah, we've got an MR2 in this morning, having a CarPlay and Android Auto Wi-Fi unit. Uh, digital radio, Bluetooth, all of the fun stuff. We have a reverse camera to do on it and fascia kit. So, house update. Um, very good. So, I think we're going to buy it. We're going to put in an offer today. Wifey likes it, I like it. Shane came out, looked around the house and said pretty much it's just a lot of finishing work. Um, it's not meaning to sound like a chauvinist pig, shall I say. It's like a lot of women's houses that I see. Um, she's a single mum. Um, she started everything, but not finished everything. So the laminate flooring is done, but the edging is not. Um, the decorating is done, some of the edging is not. It's all the little finishing things, like caps and trims and, you know, the start a job and then, and then like, not know how to kind of complete the, the work. Uh, obviously you can hide a lot of imperfections with trimming and edging and stuff like that, but that's basically what's happened is rather than figuring out an exact measurement and making everything, you know, like let's say for example the laminate floor, she's she's gone in at bits and then there's no trim over the edge of it between that and the next room that would hide the fact that there's an imperfection. So there's just lots of things that need sorting and finishing properly. Um, yes, we're going to put in an offer. The views are amazing. Parking is a problem, but we seem to have a couple of uh, workarounds. So I've said to the missus, obviously, if there's no space for parking, I will buy a bike. <laughs> so that's cool, it's another toy with, with an excuse because she wants a house. Um, we have a couple of options with regards to where the parking goes, whether it's at the back of the property, at the front of the property, there is a garage, there is like little side bits that we can extend into uh, and create more space. So we've got lots of options. Um, but it's, it's, the house is lovely, the kitchen's nice, and the views are just incredible. And I will show you when we, when we get it. If we get it. Um, the road, the hill is not ideal, um, but obviously to have that view, you've got to be on a hill. And, and yeah, strange as it seems, we kind of will put up with the fact that the hill is so steep and difficult, but the fact that you get to look out that window and see everyone's rooftops, and I mean pretty much everyone. Um, even um, in town, we have a we have a building called the John Murray Building. Um, which is quite tall. It's the tallest thing around town. Um, and from the top of the house in Rawton, you can pretty much see, you're like almost like eye level with it. You can see the top three layers of it is with that high up in the air. So it's, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty cool place. We will put in an offer and see where it goes. Um, she did have the house priced quite high and I think within the first kind of two weeks she'd lowered it quite a lot because I think she'd realised that she priced herself out of the market. Obviously anyone can go online and, and estimate <clears throat> on a guide what they think your house is worth and then you can pick where you want to be within that like limit that guide limit and I think she chose kind of like the upper echelon of it and then realized pretty soon that she'd kind of shot herself in the foot lots of people apparently have viewed the house according to our estate agent um, not many people um, or should I say no people have put in offers um, which shows you that they you know may or may not like the house but at its price they've obviously looked at it and gone no it's too much um, but you know we had a chat last night me and wifey and I don't mind offending people so we're gonna go in and strong arm the, the, 
the, the offer, see what happens. She's only going to say no. But we've got to start somewhere. Um, and that's, yeah, and that's that. So lots happening, lots happening. I've also got to trim a box up today. We've got a job tomorrow for a Range Rover. Uh, it's having a key 500 and the twin 10 LT subs that I built, that box, that ported box, the monster, that's being fitted tomorrow. So I do need to trim that up. So hopefully I can nail the MR2, trim the box. That's ready to go for tomorrow. Then we're just installing it. Should be a good day. I'm gonna get off to work, get coffee, and I will see you soon, guys. Morning, dudes, look at this. So this is our MR2 Mark II, Mr. Two. Um, as you can see, it's in really, really, really brand new nick, other than a bit of rubbish. Um, it has 9,000 original miles. Yes, you heard me right, 9,000 from new. Everything, it's like it was never used. Everything is still perfect. Door plastics, trim, paint, even parts that wear, even the seat bolsters, but everything is still brand new. 9,000 miles. It's an automatic, not the best, but obviously we've got Pioneer to put down there. Fish kit for that. We've got to do rear camera, which I'm just looking at where the exhaust sits, where our camera cable is probably going to have to go uh, out towards the light and then follow the wing through the roof area down to the floor and cross and scoot in. Um, and I've got to put a high power USB charger in the glove box as well for them. But this is my job today. It's pretty impressive. I thought my chaser was clean, but <laughs> 9,000 miles. Yeah, this one's got me beat. It's very, very clean. Super, super nice. There we go, you big Toyota bummers. Enjoy. See you in a bit. One pair of pants later. Hey, kids. <laughs> Remember that point this morning when I was kind of like the, the happy of the joys of spring? Hmm. Slowly going. Right, so camera is in. Just here. Um, into the car wide up to the reverse light, through the quarter panel at the top, then down, in through the lower grommet, down to the quarter panel, in through the inside here. Now camera cable is now residing in the back of the glove box, ready to be connected to the head unit. That's done. Then we start with the microphone at the top here, in the center, across the cables run this way, and then down the side. Now, obviously, I had to remove this trim to get the DAB aerial on. Um, now, one of them, I've butchered a whole host of snap-on tools. And I hadn't filmed this earlier because um, I was swearing. So, you'll note how much blue thread lock they put on this thing to hold it in. Nice. It's pretty much three quarters of the thread is coated in thread lock and the base. So much so that it even leaks around the edges. Holy shit. Look, and can you see what happened to this little fellow? Certain death, death, death. Yes, I was saying the same thing 20 minutes ago. So I've rounded off, drilled out, made a lot of mess. I've got this one stuck. Um, all of my snap-on stud removers have come into fruition. Um, some of them are toasted, where well, you can see the thread on this one is now gone. Um, and I kept having to go up and drill bit size to get to the right size to be able to get that clip off. So it's going back in with one screw and I'm going to clean up the threads um, so there's not so much blue around the bloody thing when it goes back in. But hopefully I've broken the seal now, so it isn't going to be a pain in the ass to put that back. Um, I've just started taking out the head unit, which we've got now loose, and I'm just about to stop for lunch. I've been on this a good few hours. Um, it was little old me thinking that the camera was going to be the worst part of this job, and that getting from dry side of bumper to wet side of engine bay, heat and all the others, through 
the roof cavity into the car was going to be the hardest part. This piece of cake, piece of cake, camera, piece of cake. This, one of them. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right then, dudes. Jesus Christ. Hey, what you watching? Let me just jump in here a minute. So I've managed to get it all back together. We've obviously got one bolt on here, one bolt's broken. This needs replacing and this needs pulling out. I don't want to tack it anymore because I've been whacking the hell out of that. So microphone up in the middle, digital aerial over there, USB ooh, in the glove box here. Now they asked me for two more USBs for charging. So we're taking out the original one, which is on the floor just there, as you can see. And instead we've got two high power five volt chargers just there. So that replaces that whole thing on and off with the ignition. There's our radio. Reverse camera works. Oh. Let me jump around the other side. Being an auto buggery, I've got to activate the, uh, the brake. Shut this down. I can't believe how clean this thing is. Honestly, it's a peach. Uh, uh. Look at that. It's like a survivor, this thing. Original sound treatment still intact. Every single, every single hook and crook and bolt and fixing. Even after Alex's was ripped, it's still together. So into R. And there's our camera. And then back out of neutral. Back to normal radio. So that's it. This one's done, fellas. I'm going to give him a ring. Get him to come pick it up. See you in a bit. Right then guys, end of day, Friday. Um, as you can see from the carpet on the floor, we've already started the trim on the box. So I think what I'm going to do is a grey surround. We're going to do a black in, uh, a grey in, sorry, start again. Black surround, grey insert, and obviously black subs. I think that would look quite nice. Um, but we are done, 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 done for today. It's been quite a productive day, I must say. Um, MR2 took longer than expected, but actually it was worth it for the result, the look. The camera was good. Um, yeah, I was very pleased actually how it turned out. Can he complain, as they say? But that's it for Friday. So we've got the range in tomorrow. Sub and amp, seven, the twin tens, kicker two, 500.1, not the 200.4. Um, and then tomorrow night, I'm gonna try and get out in the Lotus. We're gonna go do best of British at caffeine and machine. Should be a fun time. So I'm gonna pack up, see you bright and early in the morning. For now, love you and leave you. Toodaloo. Have a good weekend if you're off this weekend. You've got bank holiday. You lucky sods. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. And then Monday and Tuesday. See you soon. Bye.